over the last few months, you may have ended up with lots of these things, these empty boxes from Amazon. Most of the time, I just end up breaking them down and they go out into the recycling. But in today's video, Instructor Carol is gonna show you three really cool dog tricks using these empty boxes from Amazon. And once your dog has mastered those, you can unleash their canine athlete with a homemade agility course. I'm Ken Steep, welcome back to McCann Dogs. This episode is brought to you by Yukonuba. I am here with Cheerio, all ready to teach him to hop into a box. I've got my box, I've got my Cheerio, I've got a little mat in the box, because when I'm introducing something like this, the cardboard could be pretty slippery. I don't want Cheerio to um, slip on that and scare himself or potentially hurt himself. Now notice I am holding him back. I've also got my treats, I'm all ready. I'm holding him back for a couple of reasons. One, if I want to teach him to hop in there on command as a cool trick, I want him to have value for it. So if he was to go check out the box and decide it was boring, well, because I'm not ready, that's no good. I also don't want him to interact inappropriately and scare himself. So I'm gonna have my treat so that he can't just throw himself in there and then maybe slip and decide that's scary. So I'm just gonna let him, now some dogs are gonna throw themselves at it uh, without a care in the world. Other dogs may be a little bit timid. I'm not gonna put any pressure. I'm not gonna encourage him. I'm not gonna beg him. I'm not gonna try and lure him. I'm just gonna sit with my body facing the box, nice and close, and I'm looking at it. My treats are in front of my body so that in order to get them, when my hand's like this, he's gonna have to move ahead. So it's pretty natural for him to start to move towards the box. Every time he moves towards it, I'm actually going to yes, yes, and then throw away so he gets to rehearse coming back again. Yes, good boy, I get that. Oh, yes. Yes, good boy. Good work, you get that. Whoa, look at that. You're too quick a learner, buddy. He said, I know how I get the treats. What a smart guy. Excellent. Oh, and I'm gonna throw a break. So I'm teaching him, he holds that, sit, yes. Till I say, break. Yes, good boy. Good stuff. And now that he's offering that behavior, I could even put it on command. Break, yes. Bit box, yes. So I can sit box, yes, or in. Good boy, yes. Break, yes. Box. Yes, good boy, excellent. So now let's see, I've built some value. I wonder if he'll hold a little bit. Yes, good boy. So now, what a good boy. I think we are ready for the next step. Break, good work, Cheerio, yes. I've made it a little harder. I do wanna comment, Cheerio made that look so darn easy. He hasn't honestly ever done that before. But if you remember the last YouTube video with Cheerio, he's such a good worker, he's so keen. He's very confident because we've done lots of different exercises. So he's got good trust and he's happy to explore. All these little exercises build confidence. So if your dog's unsure, don't worry. Notice that as soon as he looked at the box, I threw away. I don't want my dog not sure. They get one foot on there and now they're not sure. So I'm yes, I'm rewarding that one foot, throwing away. And even though Cheerio's quick, you could see his exuberance build. The third time he came back and just threw himself in. He didn't do that the first time. So even that crazy dog um, gained more confidence by rewarding. I always rewarded right here in front of the box. Um, I don't want to be telling him box. And I didn't say the command till I knew it was happening. He was uh, lunging in. So when I release him now, he's going to do it. Now I have gone to a slightly harder box. Slow is fast. I don't want to push it. The box is a little taller, but what's really hard is the box is, is actually a little smaller in size. So some dogs aren't going to like that enclosed feeling. Are you ready? I'm going to say the command, but only because he's so darn confident and I'm pretty sure he's going to get it right. Box, yes, good work. The box also helps just provide a bit of a barrier. I'm gonna just build a little more value. Good boy, break. So I'm helping him know it's over, box. Yes, you can't get in there fast enough. Oh, so I reward her once for coming back to it, but I'm gonna wait till, yes, wait till all his feet are in to reward. And now I can build a little distance. So that box, whoa, break. So I'm gonna say break like it was my idea anyhow. 
That was a tough distraction. But now, look, I've sort of built a weight here so I can work some emotional control. It's a cool trick. Yeah, well, good, almost there. So I'm gonna get down low, get my treats back where I can help him be successful. Yes, just moving too fast. Yeah, I can provide a little challenge. What a good boy. Oh, and one foot snuck out. So I'm just gonna help him again. My moving the treats too far too fast. Just, you're such a superstar, buddy. So I'm just gonna come back. Once those feet, yes. Once that one foot went back in. What else are you gonna do? Yes, good boy. Yes, what a good man. And break. Good work, Cheerio. Yeah, and then I'm gonna take my box away so that he's not jumping in and not getting rewarded. I love doing this little exercise with, with my new dogs. Uh, one, I can turn it into some pretty great tricks. But two, it builds a lot of foundation with my dog. Their confidence getting on different surfaces, their trust in me as I introduce those new surfaces. Next little trick I'm gonna do is have my dog go through a box. I like to do the in first. This one can be a little intimidating for dogs. Now I have cut both ends off the box so that I've created a little bit of a tunnel. I've also taped it up a little bit. I don't want it too flimsy or falling as my pup's going through. Uh, so I want it a little bit reinforced. I'm also gonna put a mat down. I want something that's not too slippery. Now, one, uh, some dogs will get a little bit intimidated if they get in there and that feeling of the cardboard. Other dogs uh, may get a little silly and if they say, I'm not nervous at all and go running through, they could end up slipping and now they're afraid of it. So I'm gonna put the mat down to start. Can't hurt to work safely first. Um, I like to start with a box just a little bit bigger than the dog I'm working with, or a lot bigger. If you've got, uh, you know, this would be perfect for a little Jack Russell. Doesn't matter if it's too big. I want that feeling of space, not that feeling of entrapment. Now, I've said that. However, I'm gonna be working with Euchre, who is extremely confident. So we'll see how she does. I think she's gonna be fine. And it's gonna show you a little bit more of the skills as the dogs move into smaller boxes. I am here with little Euchre, who's 17 weeks old to show you this little trick of going through a little homemade tunnel. Good girl. So um, notice again, I've got her on lead and I'm not gonna have her go explore that tunnel and decide it's boring or decide it's scary before I'm ready. So I have her on leash, but I'm gonna take it off because I don't want the line getting caught. Normally when I'm working with a young pup, I'd always have a house line on so that I can manage their behaviors, but I don't want it getting caught. No, we don't want that to happen and maybe scare you, no. So initially again, just like the box, I'm just gonna let her sort of explore. So I'm just gonna put a treat. And if my dog was nervous, I would just wait, uh, leave that treat there. I'm not gonna tell them, get it, get it, get it, because it's like me going parachute jumping and you're behind me going, go, go, go. Uh, so I'm just gonna let her explore. Good, and then I might put a treat a little farther and I don't care that she's coming back out. I care that she's so confident going in there. What a good girl. I'm gonna put a couple of treats so that she's got some longevity in there. What a good girl. And then Mike can put one right through to the end. Oh, yes. Get that. Yay, get that one. Oh, she came through, so that's okay. Ready? I don't care. She's building confidence. Yes, ready? Yes, woohoo! You are, yeah, you are so smart. Because she has so much value and so much confidence, I've actually turned this on the side, so it's just a little bit lower. Let's see what you can do, girly. Go through, ready? I'm gonna drop, drop, yes, go through, yes. Euchre. So you can see, I need to help her a little bit. I'm gonna drop, if you're working alone, maybe there's a good thing to tell you guys. If you have someone else, I could have someone else holding Euchre and I could go the other side, get my head down, right down so that she could see me. Working alone, when I reach the treat over here, now her head comes up, she doesn't see that tunnel. So I can put that down, through, yes. Or now that she's so confident, I'm going to toss that treat. Oh, you're all ready. Go through. Yes, good girl. You're brilliant. Oh, you want to come back again? You are so brave. She learned this pretty darn fast. Your dog may not go as quickly. And I would want to put a little bit more value to this. But you know what's cool? A little bit more value in practice with this. And I could be taking it outside and setting up an agility ring.
Now, it wouldn't be much of an agility course without a jump. So that's the exercise we're gonna do next. And Texas is my young border collie. We're gonna show you how to teach your dog to jump. Now, she realistically has not done this at all. This will be new for her. So she, I'm going to have the bar on the ground. But before I start, um, I'm pretty sure she won't, won't be spooked at all by these boxes. But at home, what I would do is maybe knock them over. Yes, make some noise with them. Yes, oh, get that one, yes. Yes, break. Yeah. Oh, oh yes, yeah. so I want her to see that if a box falls, um, as she's going by, she knocks it, it's not gonna scare her at all. So now what I'm gonna do is I got a treat in the same hand as right beside her, the hand next to her. I'm gonna tell her jump or over or hop, and I'm gonna send her across. Jump, and I'm gonna signal and throw that treat. Here you go, girly. Good girl. I'm gonna tell her jump. Yes, Texas. And I like to go to the side so that she's not just jumping back on her own, but that it's on command. Ready, jump. Yes, woohoo, good girly. Now, well, she's pretty quick study. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of height. So she's gonna learn a little bit more about where her back feet are. Hang on a second, girl. Yes, good work. Now, notice I've made a little modification to those boxes. I've just put little tabs there so I can raise my bar up but I don't want the bar actually attached to the boxes. If her back feet were to catch, she's gonna do pull them along behind her and it might startle her. So I want the bar to be able to move. I also want it very, very low. So I wouldn't want it higher sort of than just above her ankles and she's over a year. Um, for a really young pup, you might keep the bar on the ground or only an inch up. We don't want those dogs having any impact. And trust me, height is easy. It's the learning to leave me and go over that object. Jump. Yes, good girl. Oh, you came back. Oh, and you knocked my bar. You knocked my bar, didn't you? Yes. Ready? Jump. Texas. Yes, that was better. I was on the ball. Ready? Jump. Yes, Texas. Woohoo! Good girl. Now, you can see I've got some value. Now, again, I'm saying my command because I'm sure she's going because I'm throwing that treat. What happens though, if I throw the treat as a reward? So now my treat's gonna be in the right hand. I'm gonna tell her over and throw the treat. So now I'm not bribing her, I'm rewarding her. Jump, but I'm throwing soon enough that she's not gonna refuse saying, where's that treat? Jump, yes, yay. And then once she knows it, I can just tell her jump, yes. And I like to throw out ahead of her so that she's landing, not catching back feet on a jump or turning and catching herself on that jump. I want her, plus great little exercise again. Ready, jump. And look how fast she, Texas, she comes back to me to play again. That's something I love having my young dogs do, rehearsing coming back to me, not going and checking out anything else. And again, once I've got this jumping, it can go in my little backyard agility ring. Each Yukonuba formula features Active Advantage, an exclusive protein and nutrient power design that fuels your dog's body, mind, and energy. We create videos here on YouTube to help you get out and do more with your four-legged family member. Yukonuba believes that with dogs, an active life is a healthy life, and we couldn't agree more. Check out the link in the description below to see which formula is right for your dog. These exercises are great for your dog's brain and their body. If you'd like to see some more games that will exercise your dog without going for a walk, just click on this card right there. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. We publish videos every week to help you have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Carol, this is Thorpe. Happy training.